Hey guys, Aaron here. Today I want to talk a little about whether you should warranty your sod jobs or not. I know I don't uh, anymore anyways. We've had nothing but problems when we do that. So let's get into it. I'm going to go inside. We'll discuss it more. Okay, that's better. <clears throat> it's a little cool out today. All right, why I don't wa warranty sod anymore. I learned a long time ago that when you warranty sod, people aren't going to water it. And then they're going to expect you to come back, remove all that dead grass, haul it all away, and supply and install new sod on your dollar. So I absolutely 100% do not guarantee any sod work whatsoever anymore because I've learned my lesson in the past. Now, when you do a sod job, it's up to the customer to take care of that sod. It's not your problem. I don't know how you guys do it, but I know the way I do it. When we professionally install sod, we water it the first time. After that, it's up to the customer. I don't want anything to do with it after that. If maybe one or two rolls die, okay, no problem. We'll go back and replace one or two rolls, but any more than that, it's on the customer. I make it very clear that we don't warranty the sod. The initial meeting, when I go over there to give the quote, I discuss with them exactly what we're going to do. I say, if we're going to remove all your dead sod, haul it all away and dump it, bring in new soil, regrade everything, rototill, um, roll that, break it all out, roll down your fresh new sod that'll be cut that day from the sod farm. We'll water it the first time, then we hand you a pamphlet explaining to you exactly how you can water your sod and take care of it for the rest of the sod's life. After that, we're done. It's up to you. So I make it clear at the initial meeting, and then when I go home and type up the quote and send it to them, how, how much everything's going to cost, I put it in big bold letters again in the email that we don't warranty sod. I put it right on the quote that we do not warranty sod whatsoever. So it's very clear to these people that you had better protect your investment because I'm not coming back to fix it. <clears throat> now, that's why we don't do it because I've been burned in the past with people saying, oh, your sod died, it's something you did, it's bad sod, blah, blah, blah. Well, it's not. The way we install our sod is professional and done properly. And after that, it's your poor watering techniques that has killed the sod 100% of the time. I don't care. Maybe one or two rolls might die out of 100, but that's very unlikely. Um, so that's why I don't wa warranty sod anymore. I don't know what you guys do, but I definitely would never do that again. People try and take advantage of you all the time. They figure you're a small business their laziness, you're going to pick up. Well, don't do it, guys. Don't warranty your sod. Now, if I was to warranty sod, I would have to charge them so much it's not even funny in order to cover the cost of coming back and removing it all, uh, cover the cost of all the dumping fees, and cover the cost of the new sod and installation again. And nobody would pay that. That's why I make it very clear to everybody that, no, we're not responsible whatsoever after we leave here today. Now, having said that, I don't mind going back if I have to, to give them tips. I, I let them know, you know, if you need any help during this process, let me know. Or if you're iffy, if it's not looking well, let me know. I'll come back and I'll take a look and I'll advise you um, and tell you to water more or less or whatever you're doing because too much water can kill a lawn as well. If That's why our sod supplier gives us pamphlets to hand out. And that's what I give to every customer where we do a sod job. I say, follow these instructions and your sod will live. Um, it's as easy as that. Now, <clears throat> Where it's where you get into shady areas under a big tree or something, that's gonna die. I mean, it, maybe on a golf course it'll live because they're there every day, constantly um, fertilizing, watering, maintaining that grass to keep it growing in the shade. But new grass usually is going to get weaker and weaker over a couple of years, and then eventually it'll just be a mud pit. Um, so I make that clear to the customers as well too. If they want sod under a tree or something. I don't recommend we do it to them right off the bat, but if they still want it, I explain to them that once again, we're not, we're not warrantying this whatsoever because of this tree. It's shady under here. This grass is going to eventually die and it's going to th get thinner and thinner until it's dead and it's, it'll be a muddy mess. So I put that again in the quote, I put that in the emails and if they still want us to go forward with it, then we go forward with it. That's that. Um, so I don't know what you guys do, but let me know in the comments. Do you warranty sod jobs? Would you go back and uh, replace the lawn if, if that happened to you? If they said, oh, our, our grass all died, it's your fault, come back and replace it. Would you guys go at your cost and replace all that? How would you deal with that? Let me know down below because I'm done with that. I, I w I'm done with that a long time ago. 
uh, the customers will take advantage of you because of their laziness and just don't let them guys. They'll threaten to sue you. They'll threaten everything, but let them just take pictures before your job, take pictures after your job, keep all your emails, uh, and your quotes that say where you've told them exactly that you're not warranting that sod and you'll be okay. Guys, really quick video today. Um, let me know what you think. So give me a like and uh, check out my other videos if you want to learn more about how I run my landscape business. I've been doing it 16 years. I've been in the industry 27 years. I make a good living at it and I want to help you too. Thanks.